All right, welcome back. We're going to talk about some alternative uh, reputation man management solutions. And these are a little bit um, different. I wouldn't call them off the wall, but um, they work different than the click-through rate solution like we have in here. But this, these are things that do work. And a lot of times they will work when you really can't for whatever reason get a decent result with the click-through rate. Um, also, it's not a bad idea to basically do two these methods together. Okay, So basically with alternative solutions, there's a law that was signed by President Clinton. Um, it's called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And a lot of times you have so, for instance, I'll, I'll use a good example. If somebody used my course and um, sold it verbatim, put their name on it, because this is intellectual property, it is um, uh, my course, um, it, I could sue the person or whoever put it up there using the DMCA. Um, so anyway, that's, that's an example. But a lot of times you can let Google know that there's a DMCA, D, DMCA request and you can ask them uh, to, to, to remove you know, those sites. Um, if they're slanderous, if, there are, you know, if, it, if it's on a, uh, an adult website, anywhere with, you know, like, that has spam, uh, malware, virusware, you can request Google to take it down. Legally, they don't have to, but it's easier to take it down than go through the whole legal battle because they know the numbers are somebody's going to eventually have a viable argument and they're not going to be, you know, Google's not going to be able to defend themselves on that. And, you know, with deep pockets, people will try and sue anybody. Uh, we're in a very litigious society. Um, another great way, and it's very easy to get results off the first page using this, um, you send an email and a certified letter to the webmaster that's posted the negative review. Uh, you'll send a letter from your site, so it, it's not going to be joesmith at gmail.com. You're going to um, you're going to want to have a legal at uh, a, a real website name, okay? So you'll have to buy something from uh, GoDaddy to uh, have uh, your domain, but um, you'll send the cease and desist order from that email address. So, for instance, like Grayson's um, is legal at graysonbryan.com. It looks official. It'll demand more attention, but it works very well. Um, web designers are web designers. They're not legal experts. So when things like that pop up, they will pull it down nine times out of ten. Um, basically, like we'll, we'll contact the web administrator, uh, you know, whoever handles the f functions of the website, and firmly demand that that post or URL be removed. Um, I'm not giving official legal advice, okay? So um, you want to document everything, uh, have screenshots, um, you know, do your research, local laws, things like that. Make sure that you know you're doing things right, okay? When you do send that formal cease and desist, cease and desist message, um, you know, let them know that it's affecting your client's professional uh, and personal brand. Um, that the argument it is liable, it is slander. Um, and you just tell them, I'd rather this not escalate into a civil claim, all right? And that's how, um, you know, the best way to put that, okay? Um, now, it's going to take some time. So understand that the, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. No reputation management is going to happen overnight, okay? Be patient. Tell your client to be patient. Um, you know, but you know, for the website, it's not worth them. It's not worth it for them to fight. Okay, so nine times out of ten, you'll be able to get it down. Um, once the post is removed, it's not going to be visible to Google anymore because when Google crawls that website again, there's no valid link. All right, so then it restores your client's clean reputation. It's kind of a crude and direct method, but it works very, very well. Um, doesn't always work but it does work very well. So 
we've given you a lot of tools to work the reputation management um, and do the things that you need uh, that's totally different than what everybody else teaches. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video.